I can see you're walking on your own. Very nice. Hello. Welcome to the land of Kazakhstan and allow me to present you with a little souvenir. Roman has done this before, so he knows the routine. So allow me to present you with our traditional coat. The crew is um, into music, we've been told. Oh, thank you. Very nice. The representatives from the Kursk region made these uh, for you and in honor of your return to Earth. <laughs> so this is uh, for you and good luck in the future. <laughs> Does it look like me? Yes, it looks exactly like you. You already have 7 million views on YouTube. That's a lot. And that's a good song. I'm glad that other people appreciate it. It's very important for humanity to be in space. And it felt like music there, and it was a big part of my life. And so I'm glad to know that uh, I have millions of views on YouTube because it allows me to share my experience. Sometimes we have a spare minute or two. And so I played instruments, especially my favorite songs. This was the last question. Thank you very much. We are done with questions. One more, please. No, that is sufficient. What about the ammonia leak situation? Was it difficult? We have a very good team, and uh, we worked well together resolving any issues that may arise, and I think we had a very good successful flight. Smile. Thank you very much, everyone. Tom, first of all, welcome back. Thanks very much. Good to be back. So I guess let's start with this. Uh, you know, the last couple of days on orbit, we're going to be kind of calm with you guys getting sort of packed up and ready to come back to Earth. That kind of changed a little bit, didn't it? Oh, yeah. We were uh, shocked the day before the uh, spacewalk to wake up and find out we were going to actually start cleaning out the airlock and go all the way through execution of a spacewalk in 48 hours. And I don't know if that's ever been done before on, on station with the station crew. So that was very exciting. 
So what was it like to actually have to have to get up and do that? And you know, you guys had trained for it, but what was it like? What was it like to actually get out there and actually do the do the spacewalk itself? Uh, it was uh, surprisingly relaxing. The ground had done such great preparation for us. We had a, a busy day the day before getting ready. So when we woke up, um, Chris Casty and, and Chris Hatfield and I, we just kind of looked at each other and said, "This is it. This is amazing." And uh, just went by the timeline. Felt safe. Didn't feel rushed. A little bit tired, but uh, just very exciting. So besides that, when you look back on your time on board the space station, what are you going to remember the most about it? Uh, two things. My relationship with people, not just the crew, which is one of the biggest impressions, but the relationship with the people on the ground. All those voices from around the world almost become your, your crewmates, even though there's, there's no face necessarily associated with them. Uh, but it, uh, you get the feeling of this huge team effort. We've got a lot of uh, experimental, experimental uh, work done, refurbishing experiments and getting some data for the ground. Uh, and working together as a whole team, including with everyone on the ground, is what I'm going to remember the most. So last question, what are your thoughts and what was the experience like on board the Soyuz? I guess a little bit different than the space shuttle was, right? Yeah, uh, definitely an exciting ride on the Soyuz. I highly recommend it. Uh, the, the landing is completely different from the shuttle. Um, I had a lot of spinning and rocking, um, it was just exciting. I don't know if the, the comm was going, but we were just shouting out yoo-hoo most of the time because it's so much fun. Well, welcome back and we'll see you back in Houston. Thanks, Josh. Really good to be back. Thanks.